day 21 then and it's the morning it's now half past five we're back on the earlies again um i'm in Borussia palanca and today i've got to make my way to a place called techia it's going to be about 47 kilometers i think 28 miles today there's a little bit of climbing a couple of small hills um hoping i'm going to get more views of the danube today um it's, and it's funny because no matter how many mornings of these i have Right now, this particular moment, you always feel nervous. I'm always nervous about going back out, about leaving the room, about getting on the road and what's going to lie ahead. It kind of tends to go once you're moving, but it's just, yeah, it's always with a little bit of sort of trepidation and you step out. But yesterday was a good day. And I, if, if the days continue like that through Serbia, then it's going to be a happy thing because I think I've got the distance sort of in hand it's going to be hot again i think it could hit like 33 today um but yeah it's just that you just feel a little bit on edge every time you go out go through the post of putting your kit on packing up all your stuff taping your feet and all of that kind of helps kind of gets you kind of ready in the mindset of, of going out and doing the distance um but yeah it's not really until you get started and you've done some of the road and you get a sense of what's out there and what you're going to be running through that you start to sort of relax a little bit so um yeah i i've had an interesting night here it's um it's basically someone's apartment like a way sort of apartment that he handed over to me last night there's nothing here i mean there's not a fridge there's no wi-fi data's costing me a fortune here in serbia so i didn't really have the internet um, so it's kind of just a, like a quiet, still evening, really. I haven't slept the best. And yeah, I did wonder whether I should have gone on to Cladover yesterday, because I think there would have been sort of a different feel to it, because there's not much in this town at all. There's like one shop and, and nothing much else. So it was a little bit of a, like a lost day yesterday, to a certain extent after the run. But um, yeah, I, I next few days are big. So I just need to get through today and then after Tekia we start to sort of look at going through the Dirt Up National Park, seeing the Iron Gates and all of those kind of things. And that's going to be some long, hot, high hill climbing kind of days. And then the other side of that, my family are waiting. So this is it basically, just hope to get out there. And you know, there's the one prey that I always have every morning or is that there's just no dogs, you know, if there's no dogs, everything's fine. <laughs> It's just when you start, you know, you have those sort of moments of dogs and you sort of start to run with a bit of fear. But yes, I walked because I wasn't really sure about what was happening. I was passing quite a lot of properties. And until I got a feel for the frequency of what was going on with those, I, I walked. So today I'd actually quite like to sort of run a bit more and get it done with a little bit more momentum than I did yesterday. But um, yeah, anyway, I, um, I don't know if there's anything else to report really, but, but basically everything is okay. My backpack sort of held up with the bodge that I did. It's not sitting as comfortably on the back. And I think at some point the other side is going to go. You know, these there was sort of two weak points that I thought about this pack before I brought it out here, and both of them unsurprisingly have gone. And um, I'm seeing if I can get one sorted out back in the UK, a replacement. Um, someone can bring out to me if they can, because I'm not sure this one's going to last the whole distance. But um, it's one of those things, like the pack was a very, very specific choice because it felt good and it, you know, I don't want to go to a random pack because it changes everything when you're running and you, you know, I mean, you can get used to stuff, but it does, it does add a different dynamic. So that's, that's one thing. Um, walking also, interestingly, walking is what causes more blisters on my heels. I think walking in these speed twos, they're not really made for it. And then the heels start to rub a bit. So I've caused myself a little bit of problem walking too much yesterday. So I need to just get a bit more running and take the pressure off that. Muscles feel fine. Legs feel fine. Tendons at the moment all feel fine. Touch wood. I've had a fairly decent breakfast and um, yeah, 28 miles, hoping I can get it done in sort of six hours, basically. Five miles an hour, which is my usual movement and get to Tekia and, and, and my accommodation and have a good night. So anyway, I better get out there and get on with it. Stuff. And trying to remain so strong. I know it's good if I'm on. I got it. I got it.
Remember I was laughing In all the photos that you took But now it looks like acting Like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I got it So we're just coming to the end of day 21. That number is getting ever bigger. And today was probably one of the best stages that I've had so far on this run. We basically, since we've got into Serbia, the dial has been turned up on how beautiful it is, mainly because we're now running, we're moving very, very close to the river. Um, it's just right behind me, just there. And it's, you know, you're as close as you're gonna get. Today I actually got to go and have a little swim in the river for the first time as well with those little beaches that are here and it was just spectacular views almost from the start to the finish um still running kind of fairly big roads but they weren't sort of too much traffic and thankfully today very very few four-leggers getting in the way so lots of good running good momentum felt strong was able to get my head up and enjoy the views in fact the only thing that really sort of slowed me down was stopping to take photos because there are just so many picture opportunities here that you just want to stop every two minutes and get another picture of a wild sort of sweeping view that in behind me here you can see down there they sort of turn these bends and you've got these villages set into the um into the hills on the opposite side that over there is romania we're, we're obviously on the serbian side but yeah it was brilliant we had a little bit of climbing it got a little bit hot towards the end of the day and that's a little taste of what's to come for me because we're going to be going up into sort of a little bit of the mountains now as we go through the Dirt National Park. We just entered it a little bit today, but we now got to cross this kind of 160 kilometer national park where things get pretty remote. It gets very sort of hilly, but you get some of the most spectacular views of the Danube with the Iron Gates and this kind of gorge that um, where the Danube runs narrowest. So I think it's gonna be a trade off here. It's gonna be some hard work, but I think we get paid back with plenty of good stuff to look at. Overall, body feels strong. I, you know, I ran well today. There's not, you know, I, I'm waiting for the niggles to, to, to really sort of, or something to happen that is going to stop me moving well. But got a little bit of sore heels still, sort of mainly from the walking day. A um, few sore bits on the toes. My little toe that went earlier in the in the run is sort of still not looking very good. I've got it out to air tonight. It's just looking a bit yellow and a bit ganky. Um, but overall, I don't really know, you know, Basically, we're moving well and ticking off those miles. I've now got two more days or three, yeah, two more days, three more days until my family come out. I should know that, shouldn't I? But I've lost track of the 15th. They're coming on the 18th. So, yeah, well, basically, sort of two more days. And then I'll see them at the end of the third day. And that is really what's dragging me through at the moment. It's going to get me through these next few sort of tricky, tough days. And I've also got some help from uh, Igor, who helped me back in Nagotin and fed me really well. Um, and he's going to come out, meet me at the sort of 15k mark tomorrow and take me up to one of the, the biggest viewpoints. We're going to do a little detour tomorrow, about a 6k round trip with, I think, about 600 metres of climbing in it, just to see one of the most stunning views. But it, it's, oh, I'm debating whether or not to do it, but it feels like I really ought to. And then I think we've got another sort of three or 400 meters of climb in total in the run, which is tomorrow, which is gonna be about um, a marathon distance in total. But yeah, it's great. I'm sat here, we've got a lovely apartment. I'm, I'm with um, Paul and Nina, who are two sort of cycle tourists that I met back in Nagotin. And we're sort of sharing the apartment today. They're just making some lovely food. And it's been nice to, to have some other people along, you know, to chat to and 
sort of share the journey. It takes all it's the edge off that kind of sort of loneliness and feeling exposed. So yeah, all in all, it's been a good day and we're ticking them off, you know, the long way to go still, but we are closing in on the halfway point and things seem to have sort of improved really in terms of my sort of morale and spirit and all of those things. So yeah, from a happy Serbia at the moment, uh, I'm going to sign off and go and get myself some dinner and watch that sunrise. Not a sunrise, is it? It's a sunset. I'm going to go and watch that sunset. <laughs>